I offer my patients a video of parts of their arthroscopic surgery that I narrate to them during surgery while they are asleep and provide to them on DVD. The example video you will see next is a shortened version of the actual surgery video I provided to this patient. The patient gave permission for online publication of this video. All right, John, this is Dr. Eisenberg and the team. We just got into your uh, ankle joint here. What you see here is a cannula bringing fluid outside the joint. Now, um, what I want to show you here, this is all that, all that redness and uh, fraying, that's uh, synovitis. Uh, we're going to just use this shaver to just trim out some of this angry kind of tissue. All right, John, just finishing it up here, just trying to trim off any of these loose pieces of cartilage here. Just a little bit of just general arthritis here in the back of the ankle. Not terrible, but it's there. And you can see this is now a little cleaner. There's not as much of that redness. There's some redness again over here. We'll clean that up from a different portal. All right, John, I want to show you here. Look at all this frayed cartilage in the very front of your ankle joint. This is where your osteochondral lesion was on your MRI. Your medial malleolus is right to our right. And here's all this just torn up cartilage. I think that's, that's a lot of what your pain is. And I'm hopeful that if we could get, some, get rid of some of this and just clean up that cartilage and the loose flaps uh, to give you some relief. We... All right, Jen, just cleaning up some of this kind of scar ball around here. All right, Jen, you can see here now the anterior lateral area of your um, uh, talus looks good here. I cleaned out a lot of that scar tissue that's in that area. We're going to do more later with a 70-degree arthroscope to look into your um, lateral gutter. In the meantime, we're going to switch portals and look at that medial side. That's the main area of issues for you, and uh, we'll keep going from there. All right, John, here we go. So what we're looking at here, looking from the anterior lateral portal, you have this loose osteochondral lesion with just torn up cartilage. That's where you had your signal on the MRI. So what we're going to do is we're going to start cleaning that up. All right, Jen, here's a little shaver tool. I'm just going to, I'm not digging it in there. I'm just taking off anything that's loose and frayed first. All right, Jen, so you can see we cleaned up some of the major fraying, and I have a probe here. I feel bone right there. So that bone, um, unfortunately, you know, all this little kind of crab meat appearance stuff is not really doing you any good. So what we're going to do is we're going to clean out and excise your osteochondral defect. You can see the, the rest of your cartilage here looks good. So we're going to just trim that and make a nice uh, bed for a micro fracture for that ankle. So all I'm doing right now is I'm taking off the clearly um, torn up cartilage. Sorry, I got something here in my view. Um, and once we get some of that off, then we'll see the edges. Clean that area up. So here's that exposed bone. You can see the edges we haven't touched too much yet. I'm just kind of abrading the bone a little bit, but we have to get nice 90 degree angles. Um, so I'm going to come in with my curette. All right, so this curette, what we're going to do is we're going to get just the very edge of the cartilage, and we're going to go straight down onto the bone. And I'm going to get some of this just to a 90 degree angle to clean off the very edges of that osteochondral defect. So we're going to... All right, Jen, so we cleared out most of this here. Each of those hash marks on that probe it's two millimeters, five. so it's 12 by five millimeters is what you have as far as your lesion, which is sizable. Um, it's All right, Jen, so this is a microfracture pick. We're just making little holes in this car, uh, sorry, in the subchondral bone. All right, Jen, so harder bone over here, which is good. The bone in the back, I already made a couple holes here. Um, I was able to just kind of push it in. So your bone around this is a little softer, which is not so good. But we made a hole right there, a hole right there, one right here. Uh, so we're going to keep going and make sure it's nice and peppered with these holes. And then we're going to drop the traction and look at the rest of the ankle. All right, Jen, so we're just using this instrument to just create a 90-degree corner right at the edge of the front part of your um, OCD. We popped some holes in there. We're going to do one more in the front. I'm going to use a curette to get the rest of that edge, and then we'll be done with this part until we get the traction down. We have a 90-degree corner, so everything except for that very medial wall uh, we're going to drop the traction a little bit now, and we're going to take a look better at that side and see if we could clean that up a little more. All right, Jen, so here we go. We just dropped the traction a little bit, so it rotated the talus back a little bit out of our view, which is good. That's what we wanted it to do. And you can see now, here's the very anterior talus. I cleaned out some of that scar tissue. There's your tailor neck way down here. The rest of that looks reasonable. Um, a little gray hairs and wrinkles at the top of your tibial plafond. Um, so now we're going to go um, and look over here. I'll take that shaver. And this is, you're going to see your deltoid ligament around here as well. Remember, um, on your MRI, you had some sprains to your anterior tibial uh, fibula, uh, tibial fibula ligament. And that's going to be something we'll look at from the other view. But we're going to do this first. And so I'm just going to clean out some of this scarring 
with a shaver. Again, the rest of the surgery, for the most part, is going to be just shaving anything that's loose that can cause you a problem. Yeah. All right, Jen, here we are in the medial gutter. That's all cleaned out here. So that looks good. We're going to start um, cleaning out some of the scar tissue to the right of you. And then we're going to look at the final product here soon. All right, let's go ahead and turn down the tourniquet. I want to show you the bleeding we're going to have from these holes that we made uh, with their micro fracture. Like before, there, there it goes right there. You can see there's some bleeding coming in right there. Um, all those holes you can see are going to start opening up and as I back away my scope and I turn the flow down even more, everything's going to fill in with blood. There it goes real quick just because of your Coumadin. It's hard for me to show you each individual hole. Uh, but that's it. Okay, so that's going to fill up your osteochondral defect with lots of blood and bone marrow and hopefully it'll give you some chance to regenerate some of that cartilage. Make sure you use lots of ice, lots of elevation. Call me if you need me and thank you for your trust.